I have a question. Uh-huh. I ran away. I yes, my, I raised my hand. <laughs> sure, <laughs> please share <laughs> that song. Your, the song "Your Love." I listened to it like thirty times when I played it. Like when you sent me the video, I was like, "Holy shit!" Like I'd never heard that one. Do you wrote you? So that's an example of something you wrote all by yourself and then just got on your camera and filmed yourself singing it. Yep, that's basically the base for. A basic performing performance and uh yeah recording that's awesome yeah that's when that's did your performance career start well i was in a band <sighs> okay the answer <laughs> is well because i okay because like i know there's like the you told us like you did the middle school stuff but like when did you when do you consider yourself like really starting like right. you're gonna you're, answer like, i'm 31 <laughs> <laughs> She goes, no, I only have one windshield wiper. <laughs> <laughs> um, I started, again, I don't know, like, I started in a band called Pandulce, and I don't know how Ooh, long. That's, that's, a, that's a great that's name. A great name. That's I a should be in a band called Pandulce. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Pandulce. Atole and Pandulce. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a punk band. Atole and Pandulce. Um, yeah. <laughs> Diabetes <Absolutely. is> open <laughs> for Pandulce. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> that was like 10 years ago. Uh oh, they really got into the pan dulce. (laughs) (laughs) We're gonna start a side project. (laughs) It's okay. I won't be mad if you take the name. Oh, we're broken up now. Pan dulce. I'm sorry. You're saying? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So I think that was like ten years ago. uh, I came in hard with pan dulce because I. So did I. I, <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I'm sorry. Just, I know what to bring next time. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't uh, need it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, like, so again, you said ten years ago. Ten years ago, Pandulce. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So ten years ago, uh, yeah, I was like going through some shit, and I kind of. That's how it starts. Yeah. Oh yeah, always. So like, I went away in my mind, and literally, I was living like a little bit off grid, just like mm-hmm. going to work. And then I met uh, I met Alejandro, trombone player, and then we became friends. And from there, we met other people, and then we came. We became Pan Dulce. Mm-hmm. Um, and we played for like three to four years together, and after that, cool. I think the pandemic. People moved away. The pandemic hit. Yeah, yeah. And then mm-hmm. um, that messed up a lot of bands. Killed a lot of bands and other. Projects. Project. Fucking COVID. Dude, yeah. that, that pushed our band two years back. Yeah. hundred percent. You guys should have been famous by now. Yeah. 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 Got, me, got me real close to Pandos. <laughs> <Yes. pandemic. laughs> a lot of people. Uh, for a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I think all the shops must have been closed. Yeah, I want, like, like, I mean, I know, okay, all right. This is off, this, this is, is this is, now. This is, this is, <laughs> just because you mentioned Pan Dulce, one of the, like, best bakeries in, in the mission closed during the pandemic. Yeah. Like, a lot of that happened. A lot of those bakers, panaderias. Mm. Gone. I don't mean to kill the mood. <laughs> no, what, I, fe- I feel like. like you killed the mood with a smile. <laughs> a local fat comedian doesn't know anything about music, so he starts talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> what? Anyway, Who forget about that the coming? music. <laughs> The next one was called Call of the Res. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no. Um, so your, your band, like, you, so that was recent in a way, kind of. I mean, the 2020 wasn't that long ago. Mm-mm. Yeah. So you had that band recently. Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 yeah. It kind of loses a sense of time sometimes. But I feel <laughs> it was, like, kind of broken up before that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because, like, people moved away to yeah. Sacramento and then, yeah. S- uh, the other guitarists moved somewhere else and our drummer moved to like the east coast so uh, by then i was like okay i gotta hang up like how to book shows how to like network and most important like how to do things on my own in terms of music and i've always was very i've always been kind of a writer anyway on my own and even though a lot of the songs didn't make it in pan dulce i was always happy that it it was okay for that Mm -hmm. not to be that way because i was like now you have a space low key i was like creating something for myself right right mm. kind of like then. a blessing though right like that that happened in a way yeah it was a push and it was a change i i played my first solo show i opened for las cafeteras in um oh, i think i've heard of them in yeah. santa cruz and uh oh i was gonna say in is that little jesus you opened up that was someone else oh, okay yeah but it was at the same place okay yeah yeah i saw that you open uh, you open up for them yes i well? did that was really fun so how does that process go 
getting to like because you're basically starting a whole from scratch yeah and and then getting to open up for these kind of bands and these kind of artists on at these venues in Uh, santa cruz like that's a whole it's that's a process i've been i've been pretty lucky and also not just lucky but like really putting in the work too of Mm -hmm. like staying consistent with my social media and um staying grounded in terms of my music and like really working on songs and creating it so that it feels right to the crowd and also to me obviously um but i've been kind of hit up most of the time i get hit up by people Mm -hmm. to like um to like perform and stuff and I don't know, I'm just really genuine about like what I want to do and what I want. So I feel like sometimes people see that and they're like, okay, you'd be, you'd be good to like perform. And like people, I know some people that work doing sound and stuff like that. Oh, cool. So yeah. like they kind of like link me up to Your other artists. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so I'm thankful that I have those connections. Um, shout out to 23 hour entertainment. Um, he always does like my sound sometimes when I have shows. I, mm. He books me quite often and pretty grateful for that. So I feel like connections. And I was pretty stoked to open up for a little Jesus. That's dope. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's cool. And that's the thing that like, I mean, <clears throat> having talent isn't enough. You got to put your, now the social media, you got to work. You got to, like you told me, uh, oh, in the, in the, yep. you told me earlier that story going, you went to LA to perform and came back the same day <laughs> yeah. for like a last yeah. minute gig. Like, fuck, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's impressive, dude. Oh like, yeah. A lot of people wouldn't do that. Yeah, it was, it was fun. And I, I was kind of like feeling really adventurous. Where was I going you with just this? Just had brand new windshield wipers. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be mentioning that. I I'm have to. That's, I, the last, that's the last time. That's the last time. Okay, you said it. Or else I'm walking out. <laughs> She's driving back to LA. If you talk about. Me. I'm going to LA, and I'm gonna. Just... It's a great running gag. Like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you. What did you do in LA for that show? Um. So what happened? What's how that I booked that? I don't even know. But. Uh, <laughs> It happens, it happens. What was I supposed to do today? So so basically, I have this little short video clip of um, my latest music video Mm -hmm. that I promoted. And then it was through that promotion that someone came through and said, hey, uh, would you like to play a show, open up for us in LA? And I was like, sure. I said, sure. I didn't even know their name or the band or like where the thing was you know i was just like okay yeah. i want to go to la let's go never say no to gigs and he's like no, sometimes, you sh- sometimes you gotta say no to gigs <laughs> yeah i've said no to ridiculous ones but yeah. Oh, yeah yeah sometimes you gotta say no the feeling yeah the ideal is right but sometimes it, it's not worth it but it was worth it for me yeah. to go to la because haven't played in la and then so it was just kind of a nice opportunity it's a different vibe out there huh very mm. yeah yeah in what way? I know you mentioned, when, but like, you know. Uh, when you, so like the atmosphere can kind of be the same per se, like if mm-hmm. it's like a little small club show, depending what you're doing, mm-hmm. but like everyone there is somebody, mm-hmm. right? Everyone there, especially when you're playing. Or like somebody that's also probably in the band or something. I mean, it could be anything. A producer, I mean, a record exec. Well, well, it's a whole different thing. So when you go out there, the other bands that you're playing with, right? Like they are somebody mm. to so like when you come out here we'll play with bands like oh yeah we all work at starbucks here mm. for them they all do music full-time they've worked Signed. with there's they have some kind of deal they know people here here and here mm. and so you're like there's a lot more internal pressure okay. to mm. be your best and show them like oh just because i come from the bay or just because i come from you know wherever you are I and like hard. yeah i could i could like i deserve to be here too but you put a lot of that self pressure on you i felt that is that is that the experience you had well i honestly went in blindly i just said i want to be there and I'll, I'll go and uh i to be fair i had another show the day after which was the reason i wanted to come back the same night because i had a noon like a festival thing but then it got canceled so i was like okay well i still want to come back yeah um because i'm solo and well i didn't book a like a hotel hotel or anything anything. Hmm. but the people the band members were super nice and everybody else was nice and they were all pretty um 
surprised that I just like went for a drink. Yeah. Uh, but they were super kind. And yeah, I definitely get the vibe of like everybody being super like prepared and kind of have this idea of like, or this feeling or this vibe of like being big or being someone already. Right. right. Like, so I really, I really like that just because it's ironic, but that day I dressed like shit on purpose. I was like, I'm just gonna like be whatever mm. and I'll let my music speak for me kind of thing. Uh-huh. Also, it was a drive, so I needed to be, be comfortable. comfortable. Uh, but normally I like to dress like nice when I perform because I consider like how you dress and like how you carry your music too. Like how That's you- That's all the one package. Yeah, and I really like that because I like, like fashion. So at least I try, but that day I look like shit. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, damn, all these people what, look super what nice. Would, what made you <laughs> decide, like, that was the day that I'm just going to let my music speak for itself? Especially, uh, especially knowing you're going to L.A. It was that's, any, like, the one place you wouldn't right, ever want to do that. It was a new identity mm. for me. So it was like, I'm showing up as I, as I am. And, uh, Kurt Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> like with uh, Messi. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, yeah, that was a new identity for me kind of feel. Sure. And I was like, it does not, I don't think, I just didn't feel like it was going to matter too much. We yeah. need to up our game and shit. We need to do comedy butt naked, right? <laughs> I remember this too. <laughs> She said, you both take you. He started saying his goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, the, I just remember the guy coming up and giving me the check, and he goes, yeah, that'll be our last time. <laughs> <laughs> when the Beatles, you know, wrote <laughs> the White Album, did they have to, like, pass it in front of some drunk that had, 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 